वेलकम लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर स्मृति शिखा चौधरी ऑफ कृष्णकान्त हेन्डिक स्टेट ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन बिजनेस रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी व्हिच इज अ कोर कोर्स ऑफ एमबीए प्रोग्राम एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ द कोर्स दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू रिसर्च एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ दिस यूनिट सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट the concept of uh, business research like why we need to do research and this video lecture uh, that you need one this is divided into two parts one is your meaning and concept of research in business and types of research design uh, that is exploratory and conclusive research so in this video lecture we are going to discuss this part two portion and in another video lecture i will di be discussing a process of research and features of a good research study so let's start first we should know why we need to do research so research means searching for some information facts so, uh research is one of the most important uh, aspects of any field like uh, in any management field we can say whether it is marketing finance hr any field like we need to do new and new research to uh, upgrade ourselves so uh, like there are basically we can say like in research we do problem identification and problem solving so business research is a systematic and objective identification then collection analysis dissemination of information and use of information for the purpose of improving decision making related to the identification and solution of problem and opportunities in the field of management suppose for example uh, in a marketer wants to uh, launch a new product in the market so uh, like before launching the product he or she needs to do research like what type of product customer prefers uh, then what price will be suitable for the market all these things we need to uh, like do the research and then based on our research finding we can launch a product so business research involves the identification of the information then collection of data analysis of data then dissemination of information and use of information and we define or okay like we define the business research problem or opportunity and then determine what information is needed to investigate it so uh, here i'll uh, i'm showing you the different process of business research like first is your identification of the need or the problem we say then collection of data data we can collect either through primary data collection that is going to the field and collecting the data or maybe from secondary sources like whatever literature is available from that we can collect data then we analyze those data and then from that uh, analysis of the data we interpret that uh, okay data like into some uh, uh, feasible solutions for our study and then we use this information in the field of business so we will be discussing all these details in a uh, later part of our video lectures so basically there are two types of research design one is your exploratory research and another one is your conclusive research so first we will discuss what is exploratory research the primary objective of exploratory research is to provide insight into the problem confronting the researcher so exploratory research is used in case uh, when we must define identify relevant courses of action or gain it is additional insight before an approach can be developed the information needed is only loosely defined at this stage and the research process that is adopted is flexible and unstructured so while doing exploratory research we generally do some kind of unstructured uh and flexible research suppose we are exploring something for the first time that is uh, that kind of research is known as your exploratory research for example it may consist of a personal interview with few industry experts then the 
sample selected to generate maximum insights is small and non-representative. So suppose uh, we have collected the information from this personal interview and then based on that uh, study, we might go for a, a concrete systematic research. So the primary data are qualitative in nature and are analyzed accordingly. Given these characteristics of the research process, the findings of exploratory research should be regarded as tentative because we are exploring something new and it is like a your uh, non-structured or maybe semi-structured. So exploratory research just uh, provides us some sort of framework for the conclusive research. So now we will discuss conclusive research. The insights gained from exploratory research might be verified by conclusive research because the objective of conclusive research is to test specific hypotheses like which we uh, whichever we formulate for our study and then ex uh, examine specific relationships. This requires that the information needed is clearly specified. Conclusive research is typically more formal and structured compared to our exploratory research. It is uh, based on large representative of samples and the data obtained are subjected to quantitative analysis. The findings from this research are considered to be conclusive in nature in that they are used as input into managerial decision making. So conclusive research designs may be either descriptive or causal. So here in case of conclusive research we can say that like it is more structured and formal type of research. Based on like uh, in conclusive research we already have got some tentative okay, tentative um, picture of the research and based on that we will uh, set our hypothesis objectives and based on that we will do conclusive study and conclusive study can be uh, again uh, subdivided into two types one is your descriptive research and another one is your causal research. Now first we will discuss what is descriptive research. The major objective of descriptive research is to describe something. Usually the characteristics of relevant groups such as consumers, salespeople, organization or market etc. Majority of the business research studies involve descriptive research which makes use of surveys and observations as major method. So in descriptive research what we do? We describe certain kind of uh, relationship like uh, whether there is correlation between suppose consumers and salespeople or uh, suppose consumer buying behavior and sale of a mall. Any kind of relationship when we, we are going to study, we generally use descriptive research. And under this descriptive research, we use uh, different types of survey methods, then observations, and for that we uh, administered some structured questionnaires which I'll be discussing in our next video lecture in details. Then uh, we'll go to the causal research. So causal research is used to obtain evidence of cause and effect relationship. Marketing managers continually make decisions based on assumed causal relationship. Uh, these assumptions may not be justifiable and the validity of the causal relationship should be examined via formal research. Like descriptive research, causal research requires a planned and structured design. While descriptive research can determine the degree of association or correlation between the variables. As I have already said, suppose there are two or three more variables and uh, we, we will check whether there is any kind of association or relationship between those variables. That is the part of our descriptive research. But in case of causal research, what we do? Like we examine the causal relationship, whether like one variable is the cause for the another variable. Suppose the sales are increasing. So we need to examine why sales are increasing, whether advertising is one of the uh, reason for increasing sales. So that will be your causal study. So such an examination requests a causal design. So uh, in this 
a video lecture I have basically discussed about what is research then uh, I have discussed different types of research design that is our exploratory and conclusive research and then again under conclusive research there are two types one is your descriptive research and another one is your causal research and depending on the type of study we uh, administered like our research design will be different hope you have understand this video lecture uh, here I have given some uh, further references you can also go through these books for your study thank you